no ceasefire until world redemption. No ceasefire. Not just my words. God Almighty. Israel, no ceasefire. Hamas is the first step. This is going to be a long, bloody, hideous war. But he says, there will be peace in Israel first. That's what he has said to me for years. It's in my book. Did you read it? A bunch of you've read it. God bless you. You know. I'm not doing this because I want to do this. I'm doing this because I am the Mashiach. And you don't want to hear that right now. Maybe. Some of you want to hear that. God bless you. You're coming off the drug of the physical world. And you're starting to open your eyes and say, you know, She's a little strange, but she makes too much sense. Maybe it's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you what a ceasefire is, in case you don't know what a ceasefire is. And then I'm going to tell you again what God Almighty says about what's going on. Are you ready? He says some of you are ready. God bless you. I hope so. There we go. <laughs> Technology. Ceasefire. An agreement usually between two armies to stop fighting in order to allow discussions about peace. Do you think it's possible, whoever you are, to have a ceasefire if you are Israel right now? If you think a ceasefire is even remotely possible, you are certifiably stupid. Seriously, stupid. And the king of the universe, God Almighty, says stupid is born from evil. So hopefully you don't agree with all of this rhetoric about ceasefire. I'm going to stop sharing. And I'm going to try to keep this a little short today, a Mashiach short. Number one, Israel is in a fight for its survival, but it's really paradoxical because Israel is God's holy land bequeathed to his children, the Jewish children. And if there are any survivors at the end of this ugly, hideous, final world war, it will be the Jewish people. So get a grip on yourselves if you're not Jewish, because that's true. And I can explain to you why that's true and why you would be cheering for that to be true. And you would be cheering and rooting on the Jewish people to win this war against evil. If you knew what I knew, if you knew him. But if you're fighting this and you're making fun of me and you don't want to listen to me, you would be deadly wrong. And I'm telling you what he's telling me. We cannot lay down our arms. This is not a war between two countries with a border dispute. This is a war between good and God and evil. That's it. To lay down your arms when the other side is looking to annihilate you, you can't have a peace treaty with terrorists. No one asked America after 9-11 to sign a peace treaty with Osama bin Laden, did they? Of course not. So instead of saying, cease fire Israel, say, you go Israel, you don't stop until we have world redemption, 
world peace for all of us who matter. Do you want to matter? Then you'll listen to mom because mom is Mashiach. And these are his words. God bless you. No ceasefire until there's world redemption and world peace. And he says it's possible. You've got to show me people. God bless you if you listen this far. By the book, Blindsided by Messiah. I know the truth is stranger than fiction, but you'll enjoy it once we get going. God bless you.